There was a time when Mother Nature had Southwest Florida all to herself. But now, the pressures on Southwest Florida's environment are staggering. Explosive growth threatens to devour our resources, our land, and our quality of life. There are great concerns about the future of our water, whether it will be clean, whether there will be enough. The Everglades, a national treasure located in our own backyard, is dying of thirst. We are struggling to save as many as 60 endangered and threatened species from disappearing during our lifetime. We face an enormous challenge. Over a million acres of farm and ranch land in our region is now coming under proposals for development. Eastern Collier County, Eastern Lee County, Hendry Glades, all are coming under the developer's bulldozer unless we act within the next few years. We have beaches on our barrier islands being closed from bacteria, from overflowing sewage, increasing amounts of red tide. We really are despoiling the things that make us special, and that has huge consequences for our own quality of life and our own economic opportunity. The work of saving our environment started in 1964, when plans were revealed to build a road through Rookery Bay, across Gordon Pass, and into the 10,000 Islands. A small group of concerned citizens became involved and politically active on a grassroots level. As a result, the road was never built. Rookery Bay and its inhabitants were saved and the Conservancy of Southwest Florida was founded. Consider this. In just two generations, the population of Florida has grown to over 16 million people. The beauty of the Southwest Coast is attracting huge numbers of new residents every day. Some experts predict that 16 million more people will come to live in Florida over the next 20 years. This is why one of the most important goals of the Conservancy of Southwest Florida is to find a sensible balance between the demands of a growing population and the preservation of our vital resources, especially water. This enormous task has been accomplished through the efforts of members and donors that have chosen to support the highly qualified full-time staff members and a dedicated core of over 600 active volunteers. They help educate both adults and future policymakers, the children, by conducting hundreds of nature tours, lectures, and other special programs for Conservancy members, as well as the general public who visit the grounds year after year. We really try to ensure that there is a continued viability of Southwest Florida's natural resources and our quality of life because quality of life ties so much into why everyone moves to Southwest Florida. Water is the very essence of life. The Conservancy takes the importance of ensuring adequate water supplies and excellent water quality for the people of Southwest Florida very seriously. Well, water is really the foundation for everything that we do. Uh, we protect the Everglades, that depends on water. We protect wildlife, of course, wildlife need water. And we're trying to protect our own quality of life as Southwest Florida Floridians. And that is, depends on water as well. Many species of animals in Southwest Florida are threatened, and some are even endangered. The Conservancy of Southwest Florida is vitally concerned with the viability, health, and well-being of our native wildlife. One of our most um, successful research projects is the sea turtle monitoring program that we have here. Um, it is one of the longest running sea turtle uh, research programs in the nation. And what we do there is we monitor their uh, reproductive success, their hatching success, and um, how many actually come ashore so we can tell whether their populations um, over time are diminishing. Conservancy staff and volunteers devote long hours to the protection and rehabilitation of the area's wildlife. Basically, um, native wildlife is part of 
Southwest Florida's natural resources. So by us being able to take care of some of the animals that are brought in, um, we're giving them a second chance to be back in the wild and be part of a healthy natural ecosystem. Another critical effort underway by our environmental scientists involves the long-term restoration of the Everglades while working with state and local government agencies. Through the Conservancy of Southwest Florida, the message is to push for smart growth, creating ways to prosper while treading more lightly upon the land. We are non-confrontational. We attempt at all times to build consensus among the various parties who are involved in the decisions to uh, develop or not develop pieces of property in Collier County and Lee County and our other three counties that we serve. There are many ways the Conservancy of Southwest Florida serves the community. Advocacy, research, preservation, stewardship, education. These are the cornerstones of sensible, sustainable growth. These are the components of our long-term health and prosperity. Promoting these principles is how the Conservancy of Southwest Florida helps to save the natural beauty that surrounds us today for the next generation to enjoy and well into the future. We ask you to get involved today through gifts of time, treasure, and talent. Become a member, volunteer, consider a planned gift, take action on environmental issues, spread the word, help us save Southwest Florida, and leave a legacy for your children and their children.